Welcome back, everyone, to the Shattering Previous Shock Damage Records campaign with me, Dwarf Pete. Where in the last episode, we expanded into Behair in order to take their trade, raise their provinces, and free their goblins? What? <laughs> so, I was looking around, and I was under the impression we were backwards in technology. As it turns out, though, we are the undisputed, like, gods of this world, except for the shining beacon of, of technology and culture that is Marhold, apparently. Uh, we'll, we'll change that one when we get the chance. Um, also, between episodes, I've decided we are going to purge the Wood Elves, mostly because I don't like elves, and because the Fae told me. What other reasons are there? <laughs> Monetary gains? Nah. I just don't like them. <laughs> Alright, so today, we can't really expand into Corvuria. And if we do, well, there's probably going to be a, a coalition forming today. <laughs> uh, other than that, though, we can finish off Marblehead. And that'll only get us into a tiny war with the dwarves. And, uh... These humans. Dax. Daxter. So that is what shall we shall get started on today. And I'm thinking we're just going to do the same thing. Take centers of trade. See if we can get there. Yeah, that would work good. I, I'm mostly doing this for the money. As all good things in life should be done for. Interesting. It says there's a fort there. Oh no, where do you think you're going? Little Dax Terror Troop? Oh, you, you can't provoke all of that. Alright. <laughs> Forgot. We'll let that die down for a couple months. Um, as far as ideas go, uh, I, I've started the process of building regimental camps. It's one way or another. We're going to need some troops. Um, however, I think that biases me against going with quantity. And so now I'm really just deciding between quality and offensive. And I've got to think on that one just a little bit more today. Awesome. More, more goblins go by. Oh, and we have the thing to be able to uh, get rid of the elves. And this is the new uh, racial menu, which I think is way better than it used to be. It actually tells you how it works. Imagine that. Plus it gives you a little neat little blurb about the what the elves are. We don't care about elves, so I'm not even going to uh, waste your time by uh, talking about them. Uh, also worth noting, in this specific, uh, in the new update, they have brought in a focus which allows you to uh, increase the uh, speed of events that happen for this event, whether they be good ones, such as tolerance, or bad ones in our case, such as purging. Although purging's not so bad. <laughs> Who said such a thing? The lesser races must be purged from the kingdom. Uh, that sounds like elf, elf, uh, elf slander to me. Got forty unrest. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Awesome, and I think that is... Yes, we are now talented in war magic. Which gives us the ability to... Cast war magic. Giving us 5 morale of armies and 20% shock damage. Sure. Why wouldn't you ever pick that up? And we will go ahead and spend some effort. Oh, that's interesting. If you didn't catch it there, um, 
it costed military points to study evocation. Normally it costs uh, Diplo. That's interesting that they've changed. Okay. So then we'll take Akit. Uh, I don't know if we want to take Akit Bar in this war. TBD. Haven't decided yet. Ian will go siege down Shastun Deer. The lead dwarves? Granite dwarves? Marble dwarves. Uh, hold up. Hold that thought. Get separatism. Yes! Shoot. And from this war with the dwarves, I'm not sure what we'll take. And I'm not even sure if we'll start the purge of humans today. Maybe. We do have the ability to improve relations, though, however slow that it may be. And there may be ways that magic can help us. Oh, and the Commandant did. Uh, might as well stack morale. What are we up to? We are up to over, like, 110% from what I can tell. Because our base morale is three. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Nice. More goblins are gone. Gob be gone. My favorite type of uh, goblins. Okay, what do I want? Ooh, money. Yes, that is always. So. Uh, oh, I don't want to end your rivalry with Argood Stone. So, how do we compare to the dwarves? Pretty good. Not total stack whitefish, but we only lost a thousand troops there. Oh, gross. So, and I was also looking for other things we could spend our money upon, and I realized. We have one of the best wonders in the game currently. We have Balord, which normally these these uh, they're kind of they're not the greatest. Normally they give something like defensiveness and oh boy yearly prestige. No, Balord is the best of them because it gives manpower recovery speed and yearly army treasure. So perhaps we will reclaim the borders of Castan's empire. And there is Shastundir. Okay, Shastundir. What do I care about you? I don't. But you wouldn't get out, huh? You're stubborn. Oh my goodness, why did you build one, two, three? Those are some terrible fort decisions, AI. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Bad ideas. Stoon Deer Pro... Nope. <laughs> probably wants up, probably doesn't. That is the way of the dwarf. Okay. Lost him. Smell you later, Stoon Deer. I'm sure we'll kill you soon enough. Alright. And then from the goblins, well, we want his province. Do we want a separate peace dex turn? Yeah, because it only costs a bajillion extra AE. <laughs> How much money? I, do I really want to give up 420? No, I don't. Uh, I will transfer his trade, war reps him, and break his alliance with... No, I think the status quo is fine as is. Uh, I did 
did want to see if I could get these three provinces, though. Those three would be pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. For reasons unknown to you, the Fae that once called you ally and friend are livid with you and are demanding your apology for your grave misdeeds. Ever greedy and possessive for whatever they currently do not have, they demand an exorbitant compensation for your outrageous behavior. While it might satiate them for an instant and they might remember this gift for a day or two, the Fae will always shift their opinion. I'm not going to give up a hundred power point. 150? Heck no. Very nice. Sounds like Mountain Hugger has the institution. The Renaissance. Okay. That's good. Alright, and Dexter. What? Oh, I, I can. Cost me 90, huh? But this. Uh. Do I really care about having full control of the node just yet? Yeah, because in nine years we'll go back to war with Abdel Tungir. That'll pretty much settle it. Okay. Alright, I think I'm satisfied with that. Ours ends with 19 with you as well. Okay, maybe we go a different way today. So from this, we will get that, all these three. Mm, actually, I suppose it doesn't matter which way I go about doing this. Yeah, that's acceptable. Cool. All right, and we can raise these provinces and then give them back to our subject. <laughs> I hope I can give Agatbar to him. Ooh, but here's the question. We won't be able to continue to expand. Well, do I really want anything else out this way? Not particularly. Now we can do this, as always. Summon them, see what they want. I can do that. I can clean borders. Cleaning borders is my favorite thing. Okay, and can I give you Acad... <laughs> no. Well, maybe if I give him this province. Let's see. Nope. Oh well, alright, that's... We'll eventually have to give it all to him, so that's fine. Too many rolls. And we need to solve our own. Alright, so quick check. How we doing? Elves are cranky as always. Is this finished yet? No, it's not. Jeez. <laughs> well that was well that was what I was planning for. Oh, oh. Speak, and you shall receive from the Fae. Right. Should I core this? Yeah. Well... I mean, it is in the direction I want to pull from. I eventually, the goal here is to make the flooded coast our kind of push into node, because as you can see, it has Bahar flowing into it. It has the Deep Woods flowing into it. 
and it can also have Goblain flowing into it, which when in the future, we're going to want full control of the Marches node and the Marhold node, meaning we can pull potentially like seven into the flooded coast. Seven nodes worth into the flooded coast. So, all in all, not, not particularly terrible. Alright, so in the meantime, what are we doing? Rannon, you actually don't have a ton of huge... Oh, the Empire, yes. Yes, indeed, that would do it. <laughs> do I want to fight the Empire? Is Wex still... Is Wex still Wex? <laughs> steal maps of uh, borders. No. You have to have a unit in there. cares all right so we should probably decide now since we have all these mill points I think we could let them keep stacking okay so offensive we basically have great generals throughout the rest of the game we'll have better siege ability what are we currently at out of curiosity uh, not so good. Okay. And we would also get Discipline and Land Force Limit modifier. Uh, Offensive Innovative would be good. And Innovative would give us access to Tech Cost. Although, to be fair, we're... Not really falling high behind in points in that regard. Still, it would also give innovative uh, advisor costs, so that's good. Or do we want economic to replace expansion? Or hell, even administrative we could make a case for. What would qual quality innovative also gives uh, infantry combat ability, which is really good for us. So that's another. For sure, we want quality offensive in this run. Or is it quality first? Because this would be 20% infantry combat ability on top of whatever we already have. None, surprisingly. I think quality to start us off, because we're great on manpower. Um, we got enough money to keep funding uh, the land force limit building, so for the time being, we don't need to push for that. Plus, this also gives us discipline. And our generals are great. All right. And long ago, before orcs or even elves settled in the deep woods, these fey forests covered half of Kanor and were home to a wide variety of magical creatures, including centaurs. The ancient human king Castan II Beastbane destroyed a significant portion of the fey woods, leaving only the deep woods as a small remnant of former glory. 
but humanity's greatest sin was burning the world tree to ashes. The goal of the Emerald Oryx is simple. Become a weapon of vengeance for fey kind. Take these lands back and clear them of human conquerors. Ilthy humans. We could expand into Dead Fang. <laughs> More goblins are purged. Yes. Good. This makes me happy. Ooh, wait, 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 oh, I thought I saw a gold. Wait, there is one. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's tempting. Oh, we will. Oh, well, there, go, there goes all my. My hard ability to improve relations. <laughs> it ain't happening now. No, all right. Uh, we'll pick up a trade efficiency person. <laughs> and also, there goes my ability to get some maps. Oh no, and the green tide is ending. No, that is our time to shine. Oh, we can definitely get rid of this fort. Or do we want to get rid of... Oh, you don't cross a... Oh, you don't cross a river? No. No, I don't care then. It's not a great fort. converted into a state. We'll even get started whenever the separatism goes away then. Oh boy, Coronite's now active. Okay, that's that. and Separatists right there. All right. Uh, I think we'll get the... Dead Fang War out of the way. Question mark. I do wonder if a colony colony is a owned province though. Hey <laughs> Every tree, lake, stream, and glade of the deep woods is now sole property of our war chief and his queen. Yeah, she did not reckon this would happen. Every orc must be similarly united if we are to fulfill the province of the Afshan Tree Pact. So, for 25 years, we get... Oh boy, some National Manpower modifier. Not that helpful. Uh, but we do get... The leaves quiver as the drums of war begin. Roots stretch, awaiting the lifeblood that will spur their growth. Our race and our purpose was born in the deep woods, but soon we shall venture far behind. War and our vengeance awaits. Oh, and we get a massive claim on the entire... Look at all this! <laughs> okay, we can take an extra tax. Alright, uh, yeah, well, let's get started with the... the, uh, Dead Fang Conquest. While provoking some rooms. Poking them with a stick. And you can see just how effective this <laughs> this is, because we only lose like a thousand troops when dealing with rebels. Ever. It's it's pretty great. And okay, let's start conquering the fellow orcs. 
Let's watch. Let's 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 watch. Place your bets. <laughs> we, we outnumber his morale like two to one. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I love this military. It is, it is a joy to play. Oh, you just you just you just do mass, mass infantry rush face. What could go wrong, right? Oh, awesome. Send you over that ones. <laughs> uh, so awesome. <laughs> oh, yes, please give me some extra money if you would, game. Right, we'll keep building up these. Because one day we may need it. One day we definitely may need it. And I don't think it's actually worth because we're gonna uh, throw away all these people. Actually. My kill can be converted though. Oh, no. Oh. You're you're getting gotten by Marvel. And we get more gifts from the unsealy court. Which will help us fund further expansions of the economy. Oh, we're paying for corruption, that's why. Gotcha. And we have a crap ton of forts, but we'll get rid of them whenever the separatism dies down. Uh, in the meantime, we can get some... Some, oh boy, cav combat ability. Would you look at that? Mass Butcher is... Not totally disloyal. It's an unruly war kit. And now let's see, what are, place your bets. Do we get any improved relations? Oh, a whole one! Wow. <laughs> oh, we got in here, but then we lost Milax. Oh, that's that's cute. <laughs> try, nice try, AI. They love doing that. Right, from you, I probably just want. Hey, it's my favorite event. <laughs> Very easy to forget that the younger races live life to a fuller and quicker pace than ours. Relgak must keep up with new developments if our country is to prosper. Yes. <laughs> and we get a free diplomatic point. Yay. <laughs> Alright, from you I can take... I'll pillage just for fun. <laughs> I just think they're neat. <laughs> Why not, right? Uh, yeah, that's all I want. I don't care. Leave me alone. And from you, I'll take everything you have. Oh, yeah. Let's get out right now. Awesome. Alright. Oh, and we can finally make somebody our rival. Marhold it is. Too bad I can't take any of his land, because it's still... Maybe we should go to war with Astaire next. Maybe. Oh, looks like I forgot to raise. Whoopsies.
All right, and in 19, our truces go up. In the meantime, though, we could explode into Ascan. We could do a lot of things. Oh, that's the Coalition. That's my question. Yeah, it'll fire whenever it feels like firing. Um, in the meantime, I should prepare... A, what are we up to? 25? 25. 25 with infantry. As I accidentally make a screenshot. <laughs> So in the meantime, let's get some extra regimental camps built up. And yeah, I think four full stacks should be good. And we can attack who? We can attack Barkant. It's in the wrong way for it. I mean, I would like to take that island eventually. Right. Um, okay, let's just get the war with Astaire started right away, though. Since there isn't really a reason not to. The coalition's gonna fire one of these days. Best we deal with it early. Any chance you'd want to be my vassal? More than a hundred development. Well, I can release you, so... And you are orc. Oh, it's tempting. Does he have any cores? Ooh, ooh okay. Leave more what elves leave. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Get out of my forest. Did I say you could enter? No filthy human. <laughs> That's right, you don't have enough troops to siege me down. Alright, what do we want from you? Well, coalition's gonna form anyways, so... Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I can make that smaller for, like, a time being. So I can get in position to, like, strike Marvel. Or do we just go balls to the walls right now? tempted just because of how strong our military is to go nuts but at the same time I don't want to don't want to completely destroy this campaign I suppose it would be fitting if Relgak himself mustered such a big coalition that he died Well, let's take all this land. Take the money. <laughs> and let's become a 666. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Alright, so we could take all of this. No probs. No problems at all. Do we want this? No, I think we just want the Centers of Trade. Uh, we will transfer trade and war reps them. Village just for fun. And yeah, I think that would be good for right now. 
just so we can kind of sneak a little in here. Because we're going to have to purge all of this land either way we go. Although, I mean, would it be better to just kill nations outright up front? I'm not sure the answer to that question. <laughs> Relgak with all his... All his wisdom cannot see that far. Go that far. I would call the whole might of the known world against us. Meh, screw it. What's what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? Throw your worst at me, game. I want to see it. In the meantime, we will get the courthouse. We will continue raising the rest of these provinces. Okay, and I gotta do something with the Diplo points, which I will figure out later. Right now is a great stopping point. Don't suppose... Oh, Mass Butcher is getting there. He's getting there. Soon enough, he will be a lovely vassal. Oh, I suppose I could just fire looking for an improved relations. That would help. Um, but this is a good stopping point for today. As always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more of Relgak's wonderful adventures.